Hi, I'm Princess Pascual, Senior Science Research Specialist of DOSD FEBOX. Today, I'll be talking about land use and land use mapping using GeoMapper PH. So what is the difference between land cover and land use? Land cover data refers how much of a region is covered by land, water, clouds, trees, and built-up areas. So it shows the physical surface that you can see on the surface of the earth. Wherein, what is land use? Land use refers to the purpose the land it serves. For example, a recreational area could occur in, grass, in grassland, shrubs, or even an, in an open space. Another example is that a previously agriculture area is converted into a settlement. So this is an example of a land cover data and a land use map. On the left side, you could see the land use cover of Bohol, where in the right side, you could see the land use map of uh, Manila City. As you could see, land use map is more specific. The built-up area is classified into commercial area, residential area, institutional zone, and so on. So why is land use mapping important? First, it plays a significant and prime role in planning, management, and monitoring programs at local, regional, and national levels. Second, it provides a better understanding of land utilization aspects and also has an important role in the formulation of policies and programs required for development planning. This is where the comprehensive land use plan comes in. Last but not the least, land use mapping is necessary to monitor the ongoing process on land use and land cover pattern over a period of time. It can serve as a tool to understand and reduce disaster risk. Now that you know that every time you input using the JMapper PH will be reflected in the PlantSmart application, I will be teaching you on how to digitize land use through the JMapper PH. Once you open your JMapper PH, turn on the land use layer. You will be able to verify if the land use layer is turned on when you see the blue check mark beside the layer disk. Before digitizing, you can use the barangay boundary as a guide to digitize only on your assigned barangay. Next step is go to the assigned barangay to your group. You can do this by opening the attribute table of the PSA barangay boundary. Once the attribute table is open, click options and then click the filter tool. This window will open. Click the add expression. For the first drop-down, select the barangay name. For the second drop-down, click Is. This means equal to. For the third drop-down, click the gear icon and select Unique. For the third drop-down, select or search the barangay assigned to you. For this example, I will be searching Basak Pardo in Cebu City. Click Search More to see more results. Once done, click OK. Next is to double-click the highlighted feature. The map will zoom to the barangay. For this example, the map zoom to Basak Pardo. Next is to zoom in to the area you want to create the land use type. To start editing or digitizing, go to the Smart Editor panel. You have to select the appropriate template. For this example, residential template will be used. Click on the map to start drawing polygon. Don't forget to press the control key to enable snapping to adjacent polygon. This will avoid spaces between the polygons. Next is to draw or trace the extent of the land use type. You can use the road as the outline of the land use. Double click to complete the drawing. Once done, this window will appear. You just have to supply the required fields such as the land use type and the cost of the land use. And then don't forget to save to add the feature to the database. Once saved, the polygon will change its color depending on the legend or assigned color of the land use. Next step is to classify another land use. Repeat the steps in digitizing land use until you complete 
the land use of that barangay. Now that I'm done with the step-by-step -step procedure, I will show you a short demo on how to digitize land use. Now we will digitize the land use map. So for this example, this is in Cebu City. First, you may turn on the barangay boundary layer. So you can easily see or find your assigned barangay. Next is to double check if the land use map layer is turned on. You can verify it if you see the blue check mark beside the layer list. So next, you may now zoom in to your assigned barangay. So for this example, I want to digitize in San Nicolas in Cebu City. So I will open the attribute table of the barangay boundary. So click view in attribute table. Click options and then select filter. For the add expression, for the first drop down, I will choose the barangay name. And then for the second drop down, I will select is or it means equal to. And then I will select the gear button and then select unique. I will type San Nicolas in the third drop down. And then click search more. I will select the Basak San Nicolas and then click OK. Once done, I will double click on the highlighted feature. Now that it's zoom in, I will select an area to digitize the land use. So as you can see on the map, it is composed of residential area. So I will go to the smart editor and then select the residential template. So for this example, I will digitize this area. So I'll start clicking in this area. And then I will click the control key to enable snapping. Once done, I just have to click or double click to complete. Once you're done digitizing, you just have to fill out the land use type and the cost of the land use. So for this example, I'll just input a random amount. And then I just have to click save. You'll note that the polygon is saved on the database when the polygon changed its color to its assigned template. Now that you know the importance of land use mapping and how to digitize using the GeoMapper PH, let's proceed on the hands-on activity. For the hands-on activity, digitize land use on the assigned barangay to your group. Once you're done creating a polygon, don't forget to fill in the required fields such as the land use type and the cost of land use. Remember, everything you input through the GeoMapper PH will be reflected on the PlanSmart application. This will enable you to generate rehab and recovery plan. That's all. Thank you for listening.